special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Sam Medina, Lucky Charms, Matthew Hall, Anik D, Charlene Kelly, Riptide, Blabia Cookie, Madlo, Yushika Bay, and Rick Hemingway for your amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seminus that I, Darkness Falls mod. So we just gonna keep on going for where we left off. Um, I need to technically go sell this. Although we can sell it to Anna as well. And then I want to go for this treasure at the back of here and then go accept new quests. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for this treasure, go for I am a lumberjack, and then hand it into the scout. If the... Oh, I need to go over the hills. That might be bad. If the um, trader actually has some really good quests for us, we'll take it. But for now, I think we should focus on the scout quest. If we can do level 5 scout quests and up, we might be able to get lucky and... Just get really good rewards. We might be able to sell them even. I also want to see exactly when the trader resets, because he might actually now sell us a book. I, don't, I can't remember if our, if our relationship with him has to be above 30. But if I'm not mistaken, last time we tried this, your relationship to the trader only had to be 30. And then he can sell you some master books. So since we already mastered two classes due to an airdrop, if we can get lucky and get the other master books from the trader, that's really going to help us out. Now I have to run because that's going to take oh, all my stamina. I need to be careful not to go for a zombie like that and then run out of stamina. And get infected or something. Or run out of stamina and all of a sudden there's a wolf. Boom, let's go. Okay, I think getting out of this uh, mountain is going to be harder than uh, coming here. Oh, I need to see if I can't put that on my gun. If this, at the moment, 35 shots is just not enough. Uh, this is a Titan's shotgun spread, but this is not really a shotgun. So let's take that off. So instead of 75 shots, we're not going to have, I think, 100, right? Yeah, 118. That's way better. But yeah, getting out of this mountain range is going to be a tough one now. Um, I should probably just see if I can't drive down and around, but that might even be harder. I'm going to have to pick up my bike. Guys, I had to pick up my bike so many times just to make sure to actually get out of a certain spot. Because you can only get so far, and then all of a sudden, nope, can't go this way, can't go that way. To make sure my maximum wellness and stuff's all the way up. Let me just drive back. Like I said, there's so many hills and stuff and we will definitely have to lift our bike up. But I want to see if we can just drive as far as possible and then lift up. I can't wait until we have like the buggy or the marauder or something like that because we definitely... See, I need to master scientist and mechanic now. The mechanic class so we can make our own gas. And the scientist so we can actually make the um, drone and also the scanner for the military tablet so we can scan for treasures and stuff. But at the moment, I don't know which one I'm going to need first. I really, really need to, because at, at the moment, if I can master mechanic class, we'll be able to get ourselves a buggy or the marauder. I think the buggy is the best for terrain like this, right? Marauder is the best like for when you go into the wasteland and want to drive over stuff. Did I just make it all the way out? Damn. I thought that was way easier getting out. But yeah, if I can get myself the buggy, going over terrain like this would be so much easier. I can climb hills way, way better than this bike can. And that's insane. That's, a, that's saying a lot. The nice thing is we do have a ton of uh, guard trap ammo right now, so we can kill as many zombies as we want. I just need to be careful though. I do want to save some guard trap ammo for when we start doing quests and more pure eyes and stuff like that. I don't want to waste all my guard traps just on quests, although the reward is worth it. A lot of the times the reward for this stuff is really, really worth it. I'm going to look up one of these days, and it's not going to be radiated zombies, it's all going to be just demonic. Let me make sure we stop the healing a little bit. Just help the, uh, the turret a bit. And we just have to shoot down because my gun has anti that on. I think the a turret also has anti that right? If I'm not mistaken. Now we're almost done, jump down. Okay, hello. Say hello to my little friend. Ooh, nice. Five repair kits. Fire axes. These guys always drop like a ton of stuff. And as soon as I say that, all of a sudden they just start dropping crap. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Um, guys, I know this is a cheesy way to do it. But apparently someone said um, I have to say goodbye to nerf polling like... Uh, nerd polling like... To nerf. <laughs> to nerd polling like this because the fun pimps are thinking of taking it out. I want to see how they do it. How do they take that out? Um, I wouldn't really mind if they take it out because basically... They'd be making Undead Legacy. I'm guessing they're going to make it so you need like nails to make the frames. Or they're going to make it so that you can't pick up frames after you place them. 
which I mean would, would defeat the whole purpose of having like shapes and stuff but how are they going to take a nerd polling out of the equation how are they going to stop uh, people from doing that I just can't see it ha oh hello bunny I just can't see it happening because I mean yeah are you going to also take out the jaws and stuff how's that going to work okay let's see you? let's see uh quill sniper quill shotgun shells there you go the quill sniper I should technically take but I never almost almost never use the quill sniper we can take the notes because sooner or later we'll be able to go and make ourselves our own stuff. Lumberjack, I'm okay. Can I trust I want to make sure we don't get too many demons right now. So I'm going to do the ones that I know are not demons. And then we can revert back to the tier 4. Great weather we've been having. Yes, it has. Okay, I should probably see when you reset because you're going to have new stuff for me soon. Fetch, 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 fetch. That's super far away. See, everything is going to be in this town over here. Look, I want to go for that trader. So I wonder if I shouldn't do a fetch over there. If I can get one in this town and then quickly stop by that trader, that might be worth it. But that's also all the way over there, so I don't know if I want that. Uh, for now, let's just go and sell that. I know I should probably repair it before selling it, but for now, you know what? I need the space more than I need the cash. We have 45k cash. A book is 100k, so I need to work on that next as well. You reset day 36 after the hoard. I wonder if I... Oh, but the other traders won't have books for me. You come back I wonder if the other scouts, no, the other scouts are going to have the same jobs for me. Uh, I was about to say, I wonder if the other scouts don't perhaps have, uh, they can teach me stuff. But I wonder if that works. Should I do quests for those ones first, or they might be able to teach me stuff already? I think, I, I want to go check that out. Okay, ooh, we have a ton of tier 4s. Yes, we're going to do all of these. Godspeed. First things first, I want to go check out this trader, for example. I want to see a scout, because all the scouts are connected. They're the same lady, basically. So, how she can teach me recipes, I wonder if the others can teach me as well. If I can buy these last ones over here, then we don't have to worry about repairs and stuff. Although, we do need to start saving cash for, you know, I should probably just save the cash. We must save the cash for ourselves as well. Just now, I used up all my cash and then all of a sudden, this trader has a book on day 36 and then I won't have enough cash. I'll have to do so much more looting and questing and stuff just to get the cash again. The nice thing is, though, that we've been getting so much stuff. I should probably check at the base, do some inventory management, see exactly what we can sell and can't sell, and just sell all of it. Um, and I think I need to make myself the food. I think it's spaghetti or something. There's something you can make to actually make it. It's like sugar but candy, but in this mod. I'm a lumberjack. I'm safe right here. I'm going to do this. As soon as I've taken enough damage, I'll actually join the, uh, the turret down there. Technically, I don't even have to do this, but this is just faster if I burn the zombies. It's way faster burning. I need to make sure my turret actually has the anti-rad mod on. This tree is going to get destroyed. Yep, it's going to get destroyed. Oh, nice, NPC. Help me out. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, crap. Ooh, more NPCs. Hello. Oh, I just killed another NPC. I keep accidentally hitting them because they're in a stack of zombies. Damn, okay, that was the perfect time to just help, get help just now. I accidentally end up killing the same one. And I think it was the same dude. I wonder, can't I heal you somehow? I can only heal myself. I can't heal you, unfortunately. You used to be able to right-click on them and heal them as well, so I don't know why that was taken out. They have to do with the fact that some of them are traders and some of them are just normal NPCs. I don't know. Um... Let's see if I go at it at an angle where I can actually make it over that water source a little bit easier. Technically, every single PR, uh, NPC that we come across, we have to stop for. There's so many. Just look at this. Some of these might be wandering traders, and it would be cool if they could actually sell me some stuff. Because I have no idea what they sell. I'm going to be so happy when I find my first one, but I, look, I'm going to be out of cash by the time that happens, and I won't be able to buy anything anyways. Okay, yeah, see, if you go at an angle, you don't hit the wall, and it's so much easier making it over. This was a what quest? Dig quest, right? Yeah, this was a dig quest, so it should be easy enough to get this done. Um, what's with the trees and the boulders next to it? This is like the second one that has happened with. I need to be careful not to be underground and then all of a sudden a wandering horde comes by. Um, to save time, guys, I'm going to do this. I, I know I said... Oh no, but this is a zombie quest. This is a dig quest for the trader. Because I did say in the past that I would... The circle's gonna shrink. In the past, I did say that for normal treasures, I'll just dig towards them. 
uh, for oh yeah, normal treasures, I'll dig towards them and actually get all that coal and stuff. These kinds of um, uh, treasures, the ones for the trader, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to use this trick until we actually have the other tablet, military tablet. Damn, that was crappy. I mean, this is just tier 4, and I'm stuck in this hole again. Don't do this to me. It's not the first time that's ever happened to me. Getting stuck in a hole, and then all of a sudden zombies come for you. That's messed up. I want to make sure we don't waste too much stamina right now. So I want to hit as many zombies together as possible. That was perfect just now. That was perfect aiming and everything. Okay, I think, yeah, let's kill the zombies that spawn. It'll make it a little bit more fun as well. Okay, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go straight over. Going around feels like a little bit of a waste. Oh, crap. I didn't even realize I fell into the hole right now. The more tier 5 quests we can do for the scout, the better. Although, obviously, more, of the, more and more and more of them are gonna start becoming demons and stuff, so we have to be careful. Uh, but for now, we'll see how many of these we can do that's tier 5, but only have radiated zombies in them. I think after day 35, we're gonna explore a bit more, and we're gonna stop doing... At the moment, I know, guys, it might get tedious or repetitive focusing only on quests, but considering the rewards we're getting for the scout and the fact that we're getting her standing up, the reputation, it's really you? worth it. Well, Carbine, we already have a level 80, though. Ah, um, the cell's 4180. Let's just get this and then grenades. More jobs. Man Eater's is going to be Demon. Silence of the Lambs. You help me. It's going to be Radiated um, Screamer Zombies. Well, you're a you did it. Okay, let's see. Oh, see, this is not really that worth it. 475. We can sell this one. But we can sell the stuff back to him, and then by the time he actually has more stuff for us, it'll be easier. I wonder if I shouldn't go do the fetch and just talk to that trader quickly. I want to see if that scout actually has... No, but I said I want to save cash. Yeah, at least if I do... I think if I do I quests... Really this is the first time I've ever seen that many dead quests in the same spot. But if I do... Um... Yeah, I said uh, from after the day 35, we're going to focus less on uh, quests. Or we can just focus more on like quests that actually require you to clear out of your eye. Because that's also going to be a little bit more of a change of pace. Not just going to the zombies, killing them, come back. You have to clear the whole place, see what kind of loot it has, that kind of thing as well. Let me just quickly really see. It's day 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 28... 31, 34, 34. Okay, so there should be a, a loot drop today. I will prevail. Why are you not fighting the dude back? Oh crap, I just realized what this was. I accepted it without checking. You son of a bitch. Okay, now we can face him downstairs. Oh man, I love the fire and the radiator look together. It looks so awesome. Am I on fire? I think I was just, I was just on fire. Oh, he died. Because I love... That's why I, for thumbnails, always use like radiated and zombies on fire or something. Or electric, electricity and fire or something. I love the visuals. It makes so, for such a good thumbnail. But sometimes I really struggle. Especially if I'm just doing a ton of base building. Finding an interesting thumbnail can get a little bit tricky. Where are you? Whoops. Whoops. Okay, you dude might just have to help me over here quickly. How much ammo? Yeah, you're fully locked and loaded. As soon as the zombies spawn in, he's gonna do have to do his thing as well because they're gonna come for him. Treasure over here. I always just more or less try and see if I can guess how far I need to go. The, coil. the more coil ammo and uh, guns and stuff we get right now, the better. Hello? I also want to have some fun a little bit. Oh, there's a mutator. Oh, that's a mutator, dude. And I'm out of stamina. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, that NPC just died, didn't it? Yep. These NPCs are weak as hell. Okay, this thing's aim is really good. I got that zombie from super far away just now. The nice thing is it does seem like we're getting quite a bit of loot. Even though it's tier 4, um, the loot inside, uh, it's still giving us coil weapons. Even though it's just like yellow and green level, 
it's still giving us coil weapons, so if you can combine enough of them, we can make a level 80. If I can make a level 80 uh, coil pistol, that's going to help us tremendously. Although I do want to see if we can't move to a coil shotgun, rather. Ooh, I also want to do a little bit of farming. You know what, let's just, uh, we'll hand this in and go do a little bit of farming. I need to get my farm up and running. That corn is not going to grow itself. The sooner I have everything up and running, the better. Great job. Oh yes, this was worth it. This, see, that's why I say, guys, just keep on spamming these quests. I know it might... Can I trust you? It might feel a little boring after a while doing the same scout quest over and over and over. But the rewards are so worth it. It must be my lucky day. Except these tier 4s, they're not as worth it, but at least you get some cash. And you can sell them back to him. He doesn't want his own stuff. That's funny. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that all my work all my workstations actually have one of these in. I don't constantly have to look through the other friends of the workstations to be able to do this. Okay, so we have 54,000. I'm hoping the airdrop has some really good loot inside. I just accepted a new one, right? Yeah. We're not going to go for that right now. We're going to go build our farm. Because the sooner we can get that super corn growing, the better. I want to make sure that the whole farm is full of super corn. And then hopefully... It's going to actually make super corn, right? It's not going to look like corn. Because the thing is, we need to now make sure that every time we harvest, we use the iron hoe. We need to make sure we're constantly providing water and stuff. Ooh, I just realized. We need to put that point into the coil weapons, but I also need to put it into the sink. So I'm going to have to run all the way down to Anna's basement, where she is, to be able to actually grab that stuff. That kind of sucks. Just close that door. Probably make sure all these doors are always closed, because just now I'm wondering what comes from there and sees me immediately. And a drop. <laughs> okay, explosives first. They just drop all this stuff. The fact that we just got that many contact grenades is really going to help during all night. That's why I actually love doing these quests. Because sometimes it's worth it, sometimes not. But the only way to find out is to actually go and try. Oil weapons and stuff go over there. This goes. I'm going to start on the uh, this side of here and just move my way over. So we need to make sure that there's constantly, constantly, constantly stuff crafting. And then each and every single forge and... Yeah, this one already has its own. Each and every single forge and stuff needs to have their own inside, so it's easy to get stuff done. Okay, so... Oh, we don't really have that much sand left. Which technically means... Oh, these are all done crafting. I can't even use the stone that I was going to use yet. Damn. That's about... 900... 8... 196 or something. I didn't really pay attention just now. Yeah, more or less. Okay, uh... Where's my glasses? My own glasses. Oh, wait, where is my glasses? Have I been doing these quests? Oh, damn. I could have gotten way better loot from those drops. From the, uh, the... I was wondering why am I digging, um, loot and stuff. The stuff we just got from the uh, dig quests was such low quality. It might not be a definite thing, but I think it was because I had the wrong glasses on. That sucks. I need to make sure we constantly have the right stuff on so we don't have to worry later. Drop all that. Miscellaneous. I want to go for that drop as soon as possible, and I'm hoping there's some really awesome loot inside. Food, food, and farming. And then how much more plots, how many more plots can I make? I think I got those plots as a reward, actually. We need nitrate and clay. Do we have nitrate? Only 80. Damn. Okay, so we need to either buy some nitrate or just buy palm plots. With this, with the palm plots we have over here, we'll definitely be able to do something. Not much, but at least it's going to be something. Drinks, I'll leave over here for now. We don't want to be too encumbered. I should technically... Uh, I'm going to leave some cash over here so we don't have to worry about running around with a full stack. I think that makes a little bit more sense. Whale parts go over there and then dies all the way over here. Nope. All the way over here. I should probably see if I can't make a ton of black dyes so we can actually make this uh, thing emptier as well. And then our bike is this side. I need to be careful of wandering hordes. We haven't seen a Wandering Horde in a really long time, and it's actually kind of bothering me. Now we have the right glasses on at least, so we should get a really good, decent level. I'm hoping that this drop actually has more mastery books inside. And hopefully it's not the two mastery books we already have. If I can get the mechanic class or the scientist class right now, guys, that's going to be... I'm going to be over the moon. I'm going to be so happy. Although, if it's the mastery books of our current trader, then we did all those quests for nothing. Remember, you do quests for the traders to get your reputation up. And when it's high enough, you can buy these mastery books. And we have to, uh, different traders have different uh, books. So if I were to actually go and uh, get the mastery books of my current trader, 
Although I'd be happy, it would kind of suck because we did all those quests for nothing then. Imagine if there was a builder skill that could combine weapons. So if you get it high enough, you can actually get a tool, like a, it's a little bit later game or mid game, you can actually get a tool that has all three of these in one. Like, you know, you know when you go mining or when you go camping, you have like these uh, multi-purpose tools. Imagine actually having, having one, you can actually have two more slots over here. So instead of having the shovel and the fire axe and the pick and the crowbar, you can actually combine all of them and save so much space in your belt. I want to have some coffee on me just in case we encounter something tough, but I can't. Crap. Damn, all of this stuff sucks. The cash. Ooh, Kane's Patreon fund. Guys, if you want to support the creator of this mod, um, yeah, uh, uh, search for Kane, uh, Kane's Corner on YouTube. He has all these links in his description and everything. I'm going to forget to put it in my, in my, uh, in my thing. That's why I actually told you guys to go check it out. But I, I'm really, guys, I'm a big fan of this mod. I mean, you guys know I'm a big fan. I, this is basically all I ever play. There are so many other mods out there. I mean, recently I started liking Undead Legacy and other mods more like uh, Apocalypse Now and that stuff. Because they're, they're really fun mods. It's just, I think it's more to do with nostalgia because I've been playing this one since Alpha 16. So, uh, uh, for like four alphas, like four years or so, three, four years, I've been playing this mod. And it's hard liking other mods the same if you play this one so long. Even if others are epic and amazing, um, uh, I could actually say like Apocalypse Now and World of the Walkers, Ways UK, they're all fun. But um, Darkest Falls, even if uh, they get better than Darkest Falls at a stage, I still say Darkest Falls is the best because it's just my preference. Okay, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Damn, I need space right now. All the mods, at least we're starting to get way more like. Uh, Full auto and all that stuff. This stuff we need to put on all our AKs and our carbines. I want to make sure every single armament that we have, or every single gun that we have, has all the mods on that will help it out. I'm actually kind of worried at the moment because we don't really have that many mods for all our guns. And with Horde Knight getting closer, I need to make sure that we have the best on all of them. Cash will put away for now. Ammo. I hope I put that in the right spot just now. Yep, I would have I would have completely forgot about it just now. Okay, so let's see how far we can make this farm. Um, I'm not sure if a farm plot can reach water from three away or just two and a half away. But I am aware that you can actually have like between two water streams, five different I think you can actually have six. But anyways, um yeah, let's see. I need to make dirt as well, uh, because we can actually make uh, we can actually have the dirt and this playing off against each other. I'll show you guys what I mean now. For those of you new to the mod that don't know. Dirt. You just need a hoe so you can till the dirt, but you can't put two next to each other. So let's go and make 250 for now. I think since this stuff is the most expensive, we're going to use them the least. So what I need to do now is, yeah, on every second block, we're going to make a wall. I don't know if I'm going to make a wall. I can always just make a terrace around. So we're going to do this first, and then it's going to be a layer of dirt, and then one more of this, and then dirt. But what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to put dirt, dirt, water, and then dirt, and then one of these again. I should probably try and see if I can't make it like a fancy pattern or something, but I don't really I don't really mind the pattern of the stuff as long as the water stays inside. Okay, let me just see. Dirt. And I hate tilling dirt, guys. Basically, it used to be if you have two next to each other, you can till both of them. And then place seeds on both of them. But if I place this one now and I till both of them, only one's going to be usable. I don't know if it's been changed. I, I need to actually, you guys, I always say it and you guys know I say it. I need to go read the patch notes. I don't know why I'm so lazy. I just don't read them. But uh, that's why I'm always so confused because I don't read them. I'm actually wondering how many of these rows I can make. If I can at least just have one row of corn going for now, that's already going to help us so, so much. And if I put a wall around over here, oh, I can actually do this. I need to break this one over here. And I have a turn. This way the water won't fall off the roof and we'll have a farm on the outskirts of this place already. I just don't know how far I can take this. I need to plan, basically, you don't need to actually have the dirt even touching each other. So if we were to run out of this block right now, this farm plot, no worries at all. 
Oh, also, guys, this is the workaround to the fact that you can't have two dirt blocks next to, next to each other. You can have this, this, and then another dirt block. But you can't have two dirt blocks next to each other. But this is the workaround for that. And it looks kind of nice sometimes if you do it right. You can just use farm plots, then you can put everything next to each other. Your farm plots does not have a limit. Or do not have a limit. I don't know what the right plural, plural is right there. But yeah, um, they don't have a limit. So you can technically place this whole place just full of farm plots. But since they take nitrate and rotting flesh, we have a ton of rotting flesh. We just don't have the nitrate. So if it takes so much of that, we won't be able to get anything done. I'm going to have to really think about what I'm going to do over here. We don't want the water leaking down into the bottom. This is also going to get destroyed. Place this one over here. Okay, now how far can I take? I think I should take this one first. So we're going to do this. So I can uh, more or less figure out what I'm going to do over here. Basically, the water is going to be right there. So I need to block this off. This will not be able to have a water block. It's going to have to have a full block. Then we're going to have the dirt over there. Over here. And there's going to be a row of water over here. So what we could do is our, our, we can actually have the irrigation thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can actually make irrigation pumps. So we can make the irrigation pump there, but we can't make it right now because we need to invest in it. Living off the land. So we need to go for farmer. Living off the land. Okay, now we can make the irrigation. Nice. So we can place water right here. Have an irrigation pump right there. And then with pipes over here, we can have all the irrigation flowing. You don't even have to have water. You only have to have like one small little bit of water over here and it's going to feed the irrigation pipe. Nice. Okay, so this will work out quite nicely. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dirt to just lay out to how the farm is going to look. I just need to remember what is water and what is supposed to be farm plot. It's going to be the hard thing right now because we need to figure out I might actually like take the water all the way down over here or irrigation pipe. Because it's going to be one block of water right here randomly in the middle of nowhere. We could also, to save ourselves the effort, have some water over here in like an enclosure with an irrigation thing, and then the irrigation pipe goes up on the side. So then what would happen is we can actually run the irrigation pipe right through there, and then have it split off. We just have to make a ton of iron right there. Do we have iron? If we don't have to worry about water uh, leaking all over, then we can actually just make the irrigation stuff. Although it does require quite a bit of forged iron and we don't really have that much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Okay, so irrigation. Oh, no, we're going to need... Let me just see this quickly. Yeah, just a ton of forged iron. So what I need to make is as much forged iron as possible right now. Let's make 1.2. So it's 300 each. Yeah, there's, there's just over five minutes per forge over here. That's going to help us. So as soon as these are done, we can make the irrigation. Then we need to make ourselves the irrigation pump as well. So we're going to need electrical, mechanical. Okay. We're going to need pipes. We're going to need this of the... No, not that one. This one. We're going to need a battery, which should be up here. No, it's down here. And what else do we need? Oh, that's all. Okay, cool. So we can actually make the irrigation pumps along. Oh, you know what I should do? Let me just do this. Irrigation. I should make another one of these workstations. I, I we should have done it a while ago. Because now we're going to have to make a ton of irrigation and we won't have enough uh, benches doing all the work. So if I do this and I grab some tools over here, boom, boom, we'll be able to make another one. Okay, let's go place the rest of the dirt while we wait for everything to craft. So in two minutes time, we'll have another workbench and then we can use all the forged iron we're making in the forges to make ourselves irrigation pipes over here. If I can get all of this done, guys, we won't have to worry about a thing at all. The only thing we're going to have to worry about is putting all the farm plots in over here. But like I said, you don't even have to have the farm plots in because if I were to put water over here, it will still reach that uh, thing over there. As far as I'm aware. I'm just hoping I didn't mess up somehow and forgot something. I think the corners I actually want to make two and then in between I wanted to make five. So I'm hoping it stretches the full three. That's the only thing where it might not work as intended. But the irrigation is going to go down over here. All the way down. And then we're going to have like T uh, junctions or T joints connecting everything. Okay, so for now, since this one's still busy, um, I just put this one on top. We'll move it later when it looks a little bit neater. So what we're going to need is at least... Let's make 10 joints for now. I, I think we're going to need less than this, but that's fine. And with the straights, we'll go and make... We're going to need way more. Uh, do we have the right glasses on? I don't think so. Oh, we do. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, with the straights, you're going to need way more, but that's going to take so long to craft. If I make, say, for example, 25 of a year, to split the time a bit better. It's 28 minutes compared to 27 minutes. Yeah, that's more or less the same. Okay, then we just need to make uh, sure we have a rain barrel. That's going to catch water and fill up the water that we need right now. Or rain catcher, I mean. Um, technically, I only need one, because I only need to fill a very small puddle with this. We are still making some forged iron over here, and then we have... Oh, I need to make more dirt. Oh yeah, the 50 dirt's done. Damn, that was fast. I want to show you guys this quickly. Boom. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to go in circles like this uh, to make it look all fancy. Technically, I know there's going to be something wrong with this design. Uh, basically, if I can take the irrigation pipe all the way through over here. And then just have it split off into its different roads. But for now, I'm just going to make sure we have this. Uh, then it is at least correctly spaced and all that. We're just going to have to, every now and then, as soon as we have the irrigation pipes and stuff, we'll be able to decide where everything goes. I mean, if you look at this, for example, I can easily put the catcher in the middle of here, the irrigation pump of here, and it can work this way. Then I just have to fill this in so it doesn't go there. Uh, yeah, the water's gonna go all the way to there, so I need to, I'll need to do this then. That's fine. I think that's fine. Oh, I'm gonna have to make this a full block so we can actually stand over here. Boom. So we can go down and up. Yeah, okay, yeah, if I make the, the rain catcher right here, right in the middle, and then the other machine right close next to it, then this might really work. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the pipe out through over here and it's gonna start splitting off in all the directions it needs to go. Although it won't actually be able to go this direction. I wonder if I shouldn't go this direction. Because the, uh, it stops here by the ladder, the water just stops. We'll take it and we'll go through here. So the irrigation is gonna go through here. The water's gonna go through there and then we can actually pull this in like so. Yeah, we can put we can put, make a little bit of a farm over here. This is gonna be a farm plot. No, this that's gonna be a farm plot. This is gonna be a farm plot. This is gonna be water. Yeah, this is this is gonna work. The the dirt around it though, I, I think I might just need a few more rain barrels because this dirt around it, or I can just make the farm on the outskirts and then take all this dirt away and place a floor. Because the, the problem we're gonna have is the rain barrels are gonna make the water spill over the plants over here, and you don't want your water touching or within three blocks of this. I wonder if I shouldn't still then just use it from down below. Because if the water's over here, the plants surrounding the water is going to suck up the water, and then the irrigation won't have any water to send to everywhere else. I'm going to have to really think about that. If I just take out the middle of here, I'm sure we lose a little bit of a space for the plants, but we could also just make another farm going up later. Just every now and then destroy a block, make sure we put a pillar in, and then voila, we don't have to worry. So what we could do as well... No, 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 no. I think this is the perfect, this is where we stop it. So this is going to be a farm plot all the way around. It's going to stop over there. And then we'll have the other uh, irrigation run out of the year and then just split. So There's only three and three. Technically, there could be six in the middle. But like I said, you don't want the water anywhere near your farm because it's going to get sucked up. So technically, I need to put like uh, three barrels down. Now, what if that's going to work? If I were to put a barrel there, there, and there, put my irrigation right there, it's still close enough to this too, so it sucks up. But with three barrels, it's going to supply so much water, it doesn't really matter all too much. If I make two more, this is the middle. I'm going to place one there. I'm going to place one right here, come on. And I'm going to place one right here. Now, the only thing that might end up happening over here as well is um, the water might engulf the irrigation pump. But that's fine. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Even if it engulfs the pump, it shouldn't be a problem. What I need to go do now, guys, is I need to go and hoe or till all this ground, and that's going to take forever. And for those of you new to Darkest Falls, look how slow this is. I'm, I'm spamming it right now. This is just how slow it is. I need to go do this with every single block of dirt I just placed to make sure that it's actually come on, uh, prepared for any, uh, for any seeds. If you don't do this to the dirt, then you can't place any seeds. So yeah, I'm just going to go on and do this quickly. Um, I don't think it's going to be necessary to catch all this on camera because it's just too tedious. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like it with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.